Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem num problems, problems 95, problem, problem numbers 95 and 96. Number 95, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told, we are asked to divide 25 into two parts such that 8 times the smaller part is just 2 more than 3 times the greater part. So let's begin, shall we? Let's first define our variables. Let's first define our variables. Let S represent the smaller part and G would be the greater part. And since we are told that we have to divide the 25 into two parts, say for example, if it makes it easier for you, let's say the smaller part happens to be 5. If the smaller part happens to be 5, if you divide 25 into two parts, where the smaller part happens to be 5, how would you find the greater part? The greater part, greater part would be 20. How did you arrive at 20? Which is 25 minus 5. 25 minus the smaller part will give you the greater part. Say for example, if the smaller part happens to be 15, well the smaller part cannot be 15 because the total is 25, I just realized it. Eh? smaller part cannot be 15, the smaller part cannot be more than 12 and a half. It has to be less than 12 and a half. Let's make it 12. If the smaller part happens to be 12, how would you probably find the greater part? Again, the greater part would be 25 minus 12. Therefore, the greater part, which is simply going to be 25 minus s. 25 minus s represents the greater part. And that's very important for us to understand because if we don't understand this part then what will end up is two unknowns and with just one equation and we won't be able to go, and get, and go anywhere with it. We have to be able to make the substitution. We have to be able to represent the greater part in terms of the smaller part. The greater part, whatever it is, has got to be 25 minus s once you take away the smaller part, whatever is left over is the greater part. Let's begin. Enough of the talk. So we have to divide the 25 into two parts. We just did that, smaller part and greater part, such that 8 times the smaller part, 8 times the smaller part is equal to 3 times the greater part, is equal to 3 times the greater part. Is that what the problem says? Let's read one more time. Does, it, does the problem say that 8 times the smaller part equals 3 times the greater part. Let's read. It says 8 times the smaller part right here is just 2 more. Oh, this is 2 more. It's just 2 more than 3 times the greater part. 8 times the smaller part does not equal 3 times the greater part. This quantity, this quantity, whatever it happens to be, is 2 more than this quantity. It is 2 more. This quantity right here is 2 more than that quantity. So how do we put an equals? How do we justify putting an equal sign there? We have to take 2 away from it, subtract 2 from it. Because this quantity is 2 more than that quantity, if we subtract 2 from it, now these two become equal. The next thing we're going to do is substitute this greater part in terms of smaller part. So this is the same as 3 times the small, uh, 25 minus s, and the rest is simple. Open the parenthesis, we get 75 minus 3s, min minus 3s, not s, 75 minus 3s and here we have 8s minus 2. Let's bring the 3s to this side by adding 3s to both sides, add 3s to this side, add 3s to this side and let's bring the 2 over there by adding 2 to both sides. There we go. Now the negative 2 and the positive 2 will go away. 8s and 3s will give us 11s and negative 3s, it's going to drop out with positive 3s and we end up here 77. If 11s is equal to 77, that means s must be equal to 7. And if s is 7, that in turn implies that the greater part must be 25 minus 7. 25 minus 5 would have been 20, therefore 25 minus 7 is going to be 18. There you go, that's all there is. Now at this point, at this point it doesn't hurt to take 2 seconds to actually verify your work. I'm trying to see here where we can verify it. We, I left no room for us to verify. Let's do it here. I'm going to erase this part and we're going to do our verification here. 
So we had 25. We had 25 and we broke up the 25 into two parts. We have 25 and broke it up into two parts, 7 and 18. And let's see, let's see if it actually works. And we are told that if we were to take 8 times the smaller part, 8, 8, 7, 7, 7 is a 49, 49 plus 7, 49 plus 1 is 50, 50 plus 6 will be 56. And this quantity we are told, 8 times the smaller part is just 2 more than 3 times the greater part. Let's see what 3 times the greater part is. 8, 3 is a 24, carry 1, or carry 2, 3 plus 2 is 5, there you go, 56, 56, 8 times the smaller part, 8 times the smaller part is 2 more, you see it's 56 compared to 3 times the greater part, this answer is correct, these are, this work is correct, let's do one more, shall we, let's do one more. Divide one hundred dollars. Divide one hundred dollars among three people. Let's call them A, B, and C such that such that B has eight more dollars, eight dollars more than does A and C has twice as much as that's B. There you go. One more time, we have to divide $100 among three people, A, B, and C, and we have to meet two conditions. First condition we have to meet is that B has to have eight more dollars than whatever A does. So let's make a note of that here. So again, we start out our work by defining our variable. So let's Let's define our variable. Let small a be the amount of money a has. So here is our a plus b plus c. The total amount of money that they have among three of them is $100 because that's what we divided among the three people. It has to add up to 100. That part we do know. A, we are saying small a will represent the amount of money that A has, so that's that. How much does B have? B, we are told, has $8 more than A. Well, if A has $8, then B must have 8 more than that, A plus 8. So that was the easy part. What about C? How much does C have? We are told that C has twice as much as B. C has two times the amount of money that B does. But we know what B has. B has this much more money. So first we substitute this part. We make this substitution. C has to equal 2 times B. But we know that B in return is A plus A, A, A plus 8. So it's going to be 2 times A plus 8. 2 times A plus 8. And all of that has to equal 100. So first we make that substitution and then we, then we get rid of it and put this in this here. We just have to simplify it now. So that's going to give us A plus A plus 8, bring it down here, and then this is going to be 2A right here, 2A plus 16, it's going to be 100. That's it, it's very simple. We get 1A, 2As, 4As, 4As plus 8 plus 16 is 24, equals 100, subtract 24 from both sides, and 4a will equal 676. 4a will equal 76, and now we have to divide both sides by 4. So let's find out 
76 76 over 4 how many 4 does 7 have? how many 4 does 7 have? 7 has 1 4 7 has 1 4 the remaining 3 goes and joins the 6 and becomes 36 and 36 has 9 4's of course 36 has 9 4's of course 36 has 9 4's because what we are dealing with is 76 and 76 happens to be exactly 4 less than 80 and how many 4's does 80 have? 80 is made up of 40 plus 40 40 has 10 4's, another 40 has 10 4's, so 80 is made up of 20 4's if 80 is made up of 20 4's and 76 is exactly 1 4 less than 80 must have 19, 19 fours. Right there. A has A is 19. A is equal to 19. Let's quickly verify our work. Let's quickly verify our work. Where can we do it? Let's do it up here, the verification. Well let's let's, let's squeeze it here. So let's squeeze it here. So how much money does A get? A gets 19. 19 dollars. How much money does B get? B gets 8 more than 8, 8 more than A, 8 plus 19 would be how much? I don't know, 19 plus 10, 19 plus 10 would have been 29, so 19 plus 8 would have to be 27, two less than that. And C gets, how much does C gets? Well C gets twice as much as B does, so how much is 2 times 27? I don't know, 2 times 27? I know 2 times 25, I know 2, 2 times 25 is 50 and since 27 is 2 more than 25 we are going to add 2 and 2, so it's 54 and when you add them all up, what do you suppose they should add up to? It should be better add up to $100 and if it doesn't add up to $100 then something has gone wrong 7 plus 4 is 11, 11 plus 9 is 20, so that's a good sign Just 0, carry 2 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, and 5 plus 5 is 10. What do you know? It checks out. It checks out. We, we lucked out. It is in fact the correct work. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.